Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Izo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus, Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Barlavon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. You used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The broker has been exceedingly busy lately. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Whoa, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, loco. Uh-huh. What did you mean? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human, just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks. But we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, loco. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. 
Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please. A few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is M.I.A.? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Commander Shepard, John Dumbao, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, 
Remember when you helped me get KG's gray box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war. Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good specter. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. Bao, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone. And Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. Bao, Alun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kaje. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war. And you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with KG. KG wouldn't want you to spend all your time plugged into that thing. Well, he shouldn't have died then. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Bob. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See, Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I thought you were happy with your memories of KG. Hey, I'm nostalgic, not dead. Bao, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names... I've got it. A recent arrival. Zemendis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Zamandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors serve the Reapers. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big, stupid jellyfish. You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. You're insane, and we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We're taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low-priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. <laughs> you may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! 
Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors. And she just gave her life to save the Hanor homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor. With a few friends. You can come out now. How'd you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're gonna check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep. Nice working with you again. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Docking Bay E-24. This level has been repurposed to accommodate the recent influx of civilians on the Citadel. Please ensure that you observe proper security protocols at all times while in this area. How many people are stranded here? Any personal information pertaining to residents of these facilities cannot be revealed without prior authorization. However, be assured that the facilities allocated by Citadel Council are more than adequate for current requirements. Adequate? Absolutely. Furthermore, relocations requests are being given top priority. The Citadel is dedicated to ensuring optimal solutions for all. What else is in the area? This high security docking area was formerly reserved for Alliance Embassy deliveries. However, Councillor Udina recently put forth a council motion that it be converted to accommodate civilian emergency housing. So how did the council react? The motion passed with unanimous approval. Since then, all major races have contributed to the funding required to maintain this area. Can you tell me about the security protocols you mentioned? Due to the high influx of civilians and new streamlined processing measures, Travel from this area is carefully monitored. These are merely precautionary measures to ensure the safety of permanent Citadel residents. Thanks, Avina. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Bosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of it. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. 
Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason, and these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. You have a copy of a Shepard VI? Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Extranet says you're Alliance Military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. I come pre-installed with a flight sim of the SSV Normandy. Got any pets? You look like a Varen person. Always nice to see you. Hey again. Anyone ever tell you you're one hell of a looker, soldier? Don't be a stranger. I don't really sound like that, do I? Commander Shepard. General Araka, I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now. But he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with a bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. So, what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and then spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with CSEC, no problem. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. 
Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the C-Sec outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedaris' cell from there. Then call me back. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. Oh, 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 oh yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. You have to move on. And I will, once all my enemies are dead. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris' release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Sane, you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. Quick, hands behind your back. They'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the Greek commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. This better be on the up and up. Quiet! I am to look even more powerful than Crick thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this... <sighs> Commander Shepard... ...wants you to know... ...your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creed. So... ...do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use Blood Pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Creed. Grill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes! Yes! I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. 
Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Yes, Shepard? Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. That was a joke. How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Commander. Thank you. It's great to be back. Feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Need anything, Commander? How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. 
Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. You always did prefer a straight-up fight. And you're always good at helping me find them. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but... they killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. It survived, Saren. It can survive this. I grew up on ships. Lose one, you can always move on to another. But you'd still remember. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. So, Liara, ever dug up... What do humans call it? A dinosaur? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Uh, you were joking. A bit. But at least you're catching on these days. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. that leads down into the dig site. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... a Prothean. Like the Collectors, or those bodies we found back on Ilos? Like the bodies we found back on Ilos. But this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Hmm. Galactic community? You'd think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. 
I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No. Breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. There they are. Let's get moving before more of them come back. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. This intel will give Eden Prime's resistance movement a real chance to push Cerberus out of their colony. footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod.
victory. Seal the vote. Acknowledged. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would, and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold. It's somebody's home. We didn't kill these people, and we're going to shut down the bastards who did. found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal.
I never thought our empire would fall. It won't. We will sleep here until the Reapers return to Dark Space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis port. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life forms. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. You understood that one too? Yeah. I've got the signal the Protheans use to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. the bridge. We have to find another way across. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Heavy Cerberus forces inbound. Looks like we've got a siege on our hands. Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. If anybody needs fresh clips or a bathroom break, now's the time. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there! 
I saw a supply cache in the building next door if you want to stock up. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. You can open the life pod now. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Be careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardments. Get to your life pod now! Understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, 
Whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Terrian. I am surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see.